As the war between Russia and Ukraine is looming strongly, media outlets have been comparing the army sizes of both countries. And the reporters are saying that Russia has approximately 1.1 million soldiers and the Ukraine has around 250,000 soldiers. Now you may ask, but there's around 20 million Ukrainian adults. Why are only 10% of them joining the armed forces? The answer is simple. Most people cannot actually fight. A significant percentage of the community simply aren't physically fit enough to fight. Some people have flat feet, others are asthmatic, those with mental illnesses are automatically excused, etc., etc. You get the gist. With this in mind, it's amazing to know that only one nation in history declared every adult fit to serve in the army. And this is the Jewish nation. In this week's parasha, Kitisa, we read how 603,550 men from the age of 20 and up donated a half a shekel coin to the temple. This mitzvah was incumbent on every single person, rich or poor alike, no matter their state of health or their mental competency. Now later in the Torah, at the beginning of Bamidbar, we learn that there were exactly 603,550 soldiers fit to fight in the Israeli army, which means that every single person of the right age was expected to serve. Incredible. There were no cripples, no people with mental health issues, no cowards, and so on and so forth. Basically, everyone was a warrior. Wow. Was that a one-off miracle? And only during the time when the Jewish people were in the desert? Perhaps not. Perhaps when the Torah tells us that they were all fit to battle, it was not referring only to physical battle, rather to a spiritual one too. You see, humans are composed of body and soul, and we need to fight on both mediums. Not all of us are physically able, but we can all fight a good fight spiritually. Life is a battle, and we're all called upon to serve. Each and every one of us has the power to battle the evil forces of this world and contribute to the collective mission of removing the evil spirit from the face of the earth. Yes, there is a strong temptation to believe that we're unable or incompetent, we might assume that the army, the spiritual army, can get on without us. Let the rabbis, the teachers, the scholars, let them do the job. We're just simple people, we may think. But the Torah is teaching us we are perfectly able. We are spiritually perfect and we are needed. The world awaits our service and we have been conscripted to the cause. We've been mobilized in Hashem's army. What an honor. Shabbat